Hello. So, Halloween is almost upon us. A time of ghosts and ghouls and things that go bump in the night. So today I'm going to share with you some ghost stories from the area where we're currently moored in Thorn in South Yorkshire. So this is a drawing of the old Union Workhouse in Thorn that was built in 1838 to house up to 200 inmates. Their words, not mine. As you can see, this is a, a very early photograph um, of some of those inmates and I'm sure some staff as well. I'm sure most of us knew about workhouses and um, people who were poor, who, who were homeless, um, itinerant or vagrants, um, were often made to go into the workhouse. But what we maybe didn't realise is that although you expect workhouses um, in the 1830s, 40s and a bit later, um, this was actually operating until 1930. It did have less inmates. It had about 80 people then. But still, I think that's quite surprising. So when it was um, closed down in 1830, um, this... Uh, was how it was left. Um, a large part of it was later demolished, um, but this was the state of it when it closed. So the main part was demolished and this is all that remains. In 1940 it became um, military billets, it was used to, to house soldiers, and then in 1944 it was given to the sea cadets uh, for them to use as their headquarters in Thorn, and it still has that purpose today. So those that lived here, it said they were housed in conditions that were worse uh, than a prison, um, and there was mistreatment, and they maybe weren't fed enough, and a lot of people did die, and they would be buried in unmarked graves out the back. Um, but this is now all that remains um, other than there is on the opposite side um, a building that has been used as a care home um, but now it's it's closed actually but this was the old infirmary building where um, obviously sick inmates would have been taken so last year a local paranormal group did an investigation here. Um, there have been um, lots of sightings, um, there's been a, a frightening apparition of a man um, in the upstairs rooms, there's been a female spirit has also been seen, objects have moved or end up in places where they shouldn't be, um, there's been strange noises such as talking, moaning, sighing uh, and breathing sounds um, and when the team did the investigation last year they concluded that this is the most haunted building in the Doncaster area. Those poor sea cadets. So next we come to St Nicholas Church at Thorn. Um, it's parts of it date back to the 12th century um, so it's a very old church indeed, obviously. But when I was at school, there was a bit of a story about something in the churchyard, which we're just going to have a look at. So it's right outside the front door of the church and significantly just below the tower. So what you're looking at is a stone coffin. And as you can see, it's shaped to the shape of a human body. So when I was at school, we had a story um, and we used to do this after school that if you went to the coffin and you ran round it three times as fast as you could, then you had to lay down in it 
and as you laid down in it your point of view was the church tower so you looked up at the church tower and you were supposed to be able to see a body fall from the top of the tower now obviously none of us ever did see a body fall from the top of the tower um, but I used to be a bell ringer here and I used to ring the the bells at this church obviously in the tower and it often did feel a little bit spooky and this year January this year there was an article in the local newspaper about some new bell ringers that had gone up there and had a very spooky experience. So what happened was they decided to take a selfie um, to show that they were doing something different. You know, they were, they were in the bell tower going to do bell ringing. And it wasn't until later on that they looked at the pictures and they're in front of something that is known as the devil door. And when they looked at the pictures, they got quite a shock. So what they saw in the selfie behind them and just in front of the devil door, if you look carefully at the photograph, you'll be able to see the face of a ghostly child. Ooh, spooky. So next on our haunted whistle stop tour is the building you can see in front. This is, or it was, Thorn Travis School. It actually closed in 1973, um, but it opened, it was built in 1864, um, and it's actually where I went to school. Um, it was a very small school, very quaint. It was actually set up um, by a local landowner to be able to educate the poor of the local district. So even when I went there, it was a very old fashioned school um, and it didn't have toilets inside the school. They were in a block at the back. So behind what you can see here. And there was a story when I was at school that if you were in there on your own and it was very quiet, you could hear the sound of a child crying. I never heard it myself. But I do know those who said they did. And lastly, we have not a person who's a ghost, but a bit of a ghost house, I'm afraid. The building you can see here is what was the old Thorn Vicarage in much grander times. And as you can see from the people in the pictures, it is quite some time ago. But when I was a child, this building was still in use as a vicarage. Um, I've, I've been in it several times. Um, it used to have the door, uh, the bells above the door for the servants and things. It used to fascinate me. Sadly, today, it looks like this. It's in a really bad state of repair. It's a grade two listed building. Um, it was built in the early 18th century. But sadly, it really is in a very bad state now. So, you know, hopefully someone will rescue it. But as far as I know, it isn't haunted. Unless you know differently. So I hope you've enjoyed this slightly different video today. If you have, give it a thumbs up. Um, please subscribe to the channel. Um, stay safe out there. And I'll see you next time.